Hey everyone. Oh God, what a nightmare. I'm back on the phone again. I'm trying really hard. I'm going to put you there. I'm trying really hard to set up doing these lives from um, my desktop because it means that when I'm cutting the videos up afterwards to put into different types of posts, I can actually, yeah, actually fills the screen. Otherwise I keep getting these block lines down the side. So yeah, ap apologies for anything that's been going on. I will get it sorted. Um, I want to get it sorted. I wanted to actually, my idea, and I've got f like four minutes left, so it's going to be a really, really quick one. I wanted to share the screen. I'm going to, when I get home, I'm going to ask my son and try and do it again. So I might come on live later and share my screen and go through it. So t today, based around, again, the sales structure and why it has taken me from hundreds of thousands to near um, to the million in a short amount of time um, is because... I spent a lot of time figuring it out and figuring out what the right thing to do was. You don't need to do that because I can teach you how to do it. And if you take the course, the class and the course, or whatever you want to call it, the master class, every single thing gets broken down. You don't even need to write the emails. We've written the emails for you. You just need to fill in your names and fill in blank, basically, nice and simple. But today I wanted to talk about um, qualifying a prospect. Now, the reason I say this is because so many people when they come and work for me and so many people that I've seen when they are trying to sell, literally dial a number, get through the gatekeeper, which is hard enough, and that's another story altogether. But once they've got that person on the phone, they don't qualify that person. They are literally going by whether it's the name that they've been given or whether it's the name on the piece of um, data that they've bought. Let's say, let's just say it's Joe Bloggs. They literally go in with you know, hi, can I speak to Joe Bloggs? Yeah, I'll just put you through. They get through the gatekeeper. Joe Bloggs picks up the phone and they immediately go into one of the things which is a no-no is talking about themselves. They can spend five minutes talking about why they're calling, who they are, why they're so good at they are, to the point that the person who's on the other end is completely bored out of their brains. And then they find out that Joe, that the, the person that they're speaking to isn't even the person they need to speak to. It's really, really simple but it's a mistake that is so commonly made. And the idea of this video is basically to remind you that you are to qualify that person. So when you get through, all you need to do is ask a couple of questions about who that person is, okay? Because there is no point in wasting anyone's time. You need to find out if they are the decision maker, is there an opportunity, and do they need your product or service? Okay, so you could say, hi Dave, it's Nick calling from MIB Data Solutions. Um, I just want to check that you're the person I need to speak to in regards to marketing. Yes, it is. Great. And just to be sure that I can help um, and provide you, help with your company and not waste your time, I just want to ask a couple of questions. Now, so the, the, the two things that have happened here, we've just qualified the prospect. We've realized that Dave is the person we need to speak to. If it wasn't, then we'd ask to get through to the person we need to speak to. And B, we've said we don't want to waste his time, so we want to ask three more qualifying questions. Now, these questions are there so that if it doesn't fit our bill, there's no point in speaking to anymore. Now, from a, we, I, you guys don't all sell data, I know that. So I'm going to say it from a data point of view. You guys can very, very easily, and it's part of the, the masterclass that we do, where you can just build them into your own kind of questioning. So I'd want to know how many salespeople that company's got. Because if he turns around and says, oh, it's just me, I know that the order value, if he was to come to order, is going to be really minimal because we're talking about cold calling here. He's not going to get on the phone and start dialing a load of numbers. Um, he's not going to be doing hundreds of calls a day. Like my guys here in the call centre, they'll be dialing 230, 250 companies a day. Now, if a company's got two of those, 10 of those salespeople, then I know that they're going to be calling, they're going to need a decent amount of data because they're going to be calling over... Um, you know, two and a half thousand companies a day dialed. So they'll be looking at probably, you know, with, with callbacks, they'll be looking at about 5,000 a week. So that's the first way I'll do it. So as a minimum, we'd look at, we'd want to talk to someone who's got three employees or more. Um, we then ask them how they generate business. And the reason we do that is because if they say um, they're getting Google ads or they do Facebook leads or whatever, it enables us to figure out what they're doing is it working for them? And have they looked at email marketing, data for cold calling and things like that? And that question enables us to really start getting a conversation going with them. And it works really, really well. Um, if they have, what the ideal situation would be that they already use lists. 
Okay, that's what we call it in our industry. So if they use lists, I would ask them. I don't go straight into asking who they're using. Most of the time, people don't like to tell us who they're using already. Um, I don't know why. I, personally, I think from my point of view, I would tell someone because it enables me to then start negotiate, uh, negotiating better because I know who they are, who they're with, and I'll ask them you know, things like, well, can we provide a better price? So the conversation so far has gone that we've spoken to Dave. We know that Dave is, is the person that we need to speak to. We know that he's got more than three salespeople. He's told us they've got seven. We know that he now uses, told us to use Google AdWords and he uses lists for cold calling or he uses lists with email addresses so he can send out an email campaign. And then based on that email campaign, he can then um, call all the people that opened it or clicked or, or whatever. Different strategies for different things, really. But, you know, at the end of the day, he's got some kind of sales structure in place that he knows what he's doing. So based off that, then we can start speaking to him about the list he's currently got, how successful those lists have been. If they haven't been successful, why does he think they've not been successful? And you can then see all I need to do is ask certain questions and he'll just talk and talk and talk. And during that conversation, I'm building up rapport, I'm building up trust and I'm building up value in him. So as long as I then deliver on the on the variables that I need to after that call and schedule the next call and things like that, it means that we're starting to create a relationship and he has no reason why he wouldn't purchase from me as long as everything that I say is, is on, the, on the nose, like the data quality, the price that we discussed, et cetera, et cetera. I've now got to go. Um, it's just gone two o'clock Friday. Um, I've got to go and post some stuff. So I'm going to leave you there. I want to actually go through this on... Um, do this live again and actually show you on the screen the different things that we say um, it's kind of it's just for you PDFs that I've got but I have got to figure out how, how this all works so enjoy Friday rest of the day go kill it enjoy your weekend um, I'll be going live over the weekend and I'll be going live as soon as I can figure this out all right bye for now